Dun, dun, dun. Deal plays games. And we are back for episode of the Oblivion Walker and we are stuck in Shegarath's lair. Now we we'll have to um, go f help Pelagius out with some uh, bits and bobs. So let us carry on down this next path. Ah, now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, and the undead. Pumpernickel! The end for you. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out. Never should have come here. Right, here we go! The self loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Here we go! But ah, his confidence was you must bring the two in the One more to go, and that's us done. So we've got to take another wee run down the archways, and uh, hopefully this clears this up, and that might just be the uh, quickest quest line we've had so far. So, uh, this way, mate. We're going this way. We're going this way, aren't we? Okay, this way. Oh, good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. Oh. <laughs> you might find it less. Ah, uh, what? You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Unique? Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. Okay. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, while they do the same. That doesn't work. Let's do I'm obviously not getting how this works. clue how I figured that out. I just did something a bit stupid and it worked. Yep, welcome to how um, this quest line operates. 
I wonder if we get to keep the Wabajack. It looks pretty cool. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very <laughs> delicate Don't tell Kanye West. <laughs> Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Very tricky, yeah. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free. Woohoo! Bye! They've been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius the third. He's following these species. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius' decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death. That's right. Death. Outlaw. Nice attempt, son. Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your... First? Yes. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave? I know. He left it in... Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? Yep. And off he goes. As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabba Jack as a symbol of my... I'll just... Thank you. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha ha! Ta-ta! Bye-bye! Assuming we now get transported. Yeah, there we go. Transported back. So let's go outside and see where we want to go next. I was rather disappointed there weren't actually spiders in here. It's fun hitting spiders. It makes things worthwhile hitting spiders. Open. Okay, so we are back in solitude and what we're going to do is we're going to follow on and take on the next Daedra quest. Last time we'd been looking at the Book of the Daedra and we'd remembered that certain Daedra quests require you to be at a particular level, whereas there's some that require no level. So what we're going to do is we're going to find another one at uh, zero level and we're going to take on that one. So now, as you can see, we are outside in the outsides of Solitude, and it's time to open this map up. Now, where do we want to go? No, I think we want to go further down. Yeah, this is definitely where we want to go. And thankfully, we have a pretty close option, so we're going to fast travel here. And then make our way to Falkreath with the glorious Arania. Okay, so we've put down our custom destination marker. So we can pretty much just run at Falkreath with uh, Arania in tow. We're just going to check we've got the... Uh, huh. So 
swim in. Oh, look, there's a boat. What the heck? Where did this come from? Yeah, we'll have some of that. Um, right, I just remember we can drown, so what we might do is we might... Yeah, jump up. Okay. Remember that, there's a boat up there. Huh. Have we found that in a previous life? Hello. Wait, why am I not wearing armor? Why am I not wearing armor? What the hell? I'm wearing nice clothes. That's no way to face skeletons. Yes, we'll we'll put that back on and uh We'll have the iron gauntlets, the iron helmet, and uh, where's the boots? The uh, iron boots as well. Okay, now we're ready to roll. Yeah, we can afford to grab a couple more things. What the hell? That's that Shogarath one? Dressing us up like, you know. Where did they come from then, the skeletons? Ah, good follower, behind as usual. Right, let's go just find this thing over here. Obviously where the skeletons came from. They did appear to be looking for us. Come on. Come on. North Shriek Wind Bastion. What do you think? No, let's let's just par through. Come on, let's keep keep going. Oh. Dude on a horse. We missed dude on a horse. It's probably not important. Right. We want to be making our way along, minding our own business, not looking for any trouble at all. How often does that walk in Sky work in Skyrim? Don't mind me, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going for a walk. We jog, you know, up and about. An enemy up there. Shall we? We must be a cunning little monkey. We've managed to avoid being found. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Opportunity for mischief. They're obviously expecting trouble. Okay, and back up and weaponize. Where is our Anya? Are we on our own again? Is that girl always just going to turn up at the point where we've uh, vanquished a fool? Or is she already in there? Sometimes followers can do some cray cray shay.
Wards don't stop arrows. Just a little mental note. And when they glitch like this, take advantage because you just know at some point you're going to get stuck with like 20 of them. So we may... Don't you, 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 punk. You healing punk. Yes, we have a level increase. This is quite dull though. Right, well, if he's going to be like that, we're just going to have to go old school. Beat this punk ass up. Come on, come on, kick his ass, kick his ass, kick his ass, kick his ass. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. We're kind of like, trying too much to run. All right. Ooh. Right, let's see. What can we um, stuff into his corpse? It'll be good reseal. All right, um, so you can have that. Oh, and we're good. We find Falkreath Tower, that means we're on the right track. I bet you she just runs in now. Yep, thank you. Late again? Again? Go this way. And that looks like a town over there. Okay, first person for the run in. Oh look, trees cut down. This is the first time in game I've seen trees actually cut down. Like we've seen log mills and stuff being used, but we've never seen a tree on the ground, you know. Look, look at this, tree stumps in Skyrim. Ah, so cool. All right, well, um, we're looking for a graveyard, apparently. Hello. Dragons breathing fire in the sky. Vampires brazenly attacking people on the street. It's the end of the world, I tell you. Vampires? What is it? Oh no, is the Dawn Guard DLC activated already? Thank you. Wonder where that graveyard is. What is it? All oh, right, no, no speech options. Okay, well, we'll go this way. The book of the data told me to look for a graveyard. Apparently, what we seek shall be found therein. Hey, hey, use the word therein. Just my luck. Stuck in the sticks with this crazy old woman. Grave connotations. Arrgh. Well, look, there's, there's a dragger pit up there. Archery range. Bridge across troubled waters. No, no, just... just. Alright, yeah, this is one of the guards post things. If anyone's 
screaming, Graveyards that way, fool! Just remember, I can't hear you currently. That's a pretty lousy field. Maybe it's this way. Look, moo cow! Moo cow! Okay. Helgen, destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? Ah, yep. The god Arke was once like us, bound to winding mortality. Here we are. But he willingly gave up this existence that we might better understand the vagaries of life and death. It is through the ebb and flow of this cosmic tide that we find renewal, and in the end, peace. It's as good as Newton's third law. All those who have left this world and its suffering know the beloved serenity of Aperius. And may we one day rejoin them in eternity. High Elf Priest. Not a common one. Hi. A sad time. The cemetery is ancient. It's been here longer than the town. Oh. I'm no scholar, but I know that a lot of battles have been fought here over the course of history. That was silly. For each battle more dead were buried and the graveyard got bigger. I heard it's now the biggest graveyard in Skyrim. Terrible. Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tenth winter. That is sad. She was. He ripped her apart, like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Sending came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. Oh yeah. What could drive a man to do something like this? Deirdre. Yes, and I couldn't tell you why. My wife and I think there's some dark magic at work. Or perhaps RK's influence is strong here and he likes to keep it this way. Okay. Thank you very much. I understand what kind of man does that. My husband Matthias and I tend Corpse Light Farm. Corpse Light? And you wonder why the place is gloomy? Right, speak to Syndig. Okay, let's roll. Apparently in something called the pet. What do you need? Oh. Right. This way. Oh, hello. Alright, we're going to call it an episode here, and we shall see you back next time for another episode of The Oblivion Walker. Thank you, and bye!